good YouTube, it's your boy only one KDB and I'm back with another video in today's video, bro. We got the problem with black YouTube. Now we finna get to this video, bro. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell so you notified. I'll drop another banger, bro. I appreciate all the love y'all been showing. Y'all been showing me mad love, bro. We just gonna keep going up. I told you, bro. We gonna be one of the biggest reaction channels in the YouTube game, bro. I'm keep telling y'all this, friend. But uh, we finna get to the video, bro. What y'all think the problem is with black YouTube, bro? Yo, this title is wow. Rubbing my brick on my friend to see how she react. That's fucking crazy. I ain't gonna lie. But we finna get to the video, bro. Y'all see what this about, bro? Rubbing my brick on my friend to see how she. Oh, that's Florida Made MG. I think. I think that's the name. What the fuck? There's a problem. Yeah, that's a wild title. Specifically, black YouTube. Black YouTube sucks. When it comes to black YouTube, I feel like there's two sides. There's okay. one side with these amazing content creators like Corey X Kenshin, Breezy. Oh yeah, whatever happened to Corey Kenshin? I think he still be posting. But like he don't. I feel like sometimes he don't like he'll just go ghost for a while, and that's understandable because like the mental health, like you gotta take care of your mental health. Like you just can't be like posting, posting all the time because that should like have an effect on you. Feel like you gotta like. Always do it. It start to feel like a job kind of. So that's why he be like stepping away for a little bit. But like, bro, he one of them ones though, bro. He he a goat, bro. Shout out to Corey Kenshin and Bro Leezy. A M P. Bro, it's some there's some goats in this shit. These creators that don't care about their content at all. All they care about is the money that comes with YouTube, and all their videos are just based around sexual things. One side is like that what the burger that takes hours to make, and the other side is like <laughs> a two dollar McDonald's burger that tastes good for about five minutes, but the next day is like <laughs> absolute. It's kind of like yin and yang, you know. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about that other side. But why people be saying like McDonald's be making them go to the bathroom? Like sometimes when I be eating McDonald's, it don't make me shit, bro. I don't, that was off top. My bad. I ain't mean to bring it. Fuck. Like, Let me just get back to the video side. shit. Now, when it comes to the black community and content creation, I feel like every single idea can't just be a normal idea, you know? There always has to be some sort of sexual spin to it. You can't yeah, bro. I noticed that too. It has to be. A Freaky truth or date. Mm -hmm. You can't just go on a blind date. It has to be a freaky blind date. The other day, I literally seen a video titled "I put my freaky ass parents on a blind date." We are getting what the fuck? Content creation. We're putting Yo. parents on blind dates, and it has to be freaky. That is absolutely weird. If I'm being honest with you, another trend that's pretty big. Anything for views, bro. Twenty v ones. These videos. Hit Yo, that that's been going viral lately. The twenty v one shit. Like, who the fuck? Who was the first one to do that shit, bro? Cause I know like. King said was the first one to do the uh the fucking in person smash or passes. Remember that shit was going viral and that shit was going crazy. But who was the first one to do the twenty v one, bro? Let me know. Community harder than crack in the eighties. I can't tell you how many <laughs> black content creators I've seen milking the absolute life out of twenty v one. Real now, shit, you know bro. Twenty v one is well, it's basically like a speed dating show where twenty people speed date one person, and by the end of the show, that one person picks their favorite out of the twenty people. I'm pretty sure this video idea was like created by Jubilee, popularized by the Sidemen. Oh, the Jubilee! Community just took it by storm. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some genuinely funny twenty v ones out there, but then you got channels out here who are posting twenty v ones every single week. For example, No yeah. Love Mar. Now, if you don't know who No Love Mar is, well, he's a pretty big... Oh, guy. ain't that's the one that got into that that situation with the... Uh, I forgot of a brand name, but he can't. He like came to a studio, took his camera and all that. Like, I, that, shit, that shit was crazy, bro. But they do be milking it, though. Like, it do get old after a while. That's why I stopped watching them. Like, I used to always watch, like, the 20v1s. But I stopped watching them because they got, like, watered down a little bit to me. Because it's like, when you keep doing shit over and over, it's like, all right, I'm tired of watching this shit now. YouTuber who has 1.44 million subscribers, but when you take a look at this man's channel, basically all of his videos are 20 v ones. I wouldn't right. be surprised if this man changed his name to Cupid. The way he's helping out, everyone <laughs> right I wouldn't be surprised if this man did a 20 v one with the whole entire United States for his next video. Honestly, at this point, that's crazy. Put me in a 20 v one to help me find some action. Like, come on. And what's crazy <laughs> is that this man is so obsessed with 20 v ones that he literally jumped another YouTuber because they made a 20 v one with Krishan Rock, and he wanted to do that idea first i mean there's literally entire videos 4k just pulling up to their studio them beating up the other guy that's crazy taking man. the camera and the footage what y'all would have did if he would have did that to y'all me personally i wouldn't have let that slide yeah some something gotta get done fuck all that nigga came to a studio took his camera and be and pistol with one of his fucking uh one of his men like that shit was crazy bro 
doesn't get uploaded to YouTube. Number one, what happened to Shame? Who genuinely wants to speed date the Snaggletooth demon Krishan Rock? That woman is literally the embodiment of a Neanderthal. And number two, why are you out here jumping other YouTubers? Because they're about to upload an idea before you. Just be more creative. And right, bro. Other than 20v1s. And maybe you wouldn't have to resort to jumping people because they make <laughs> the same style of content as you. Imagine if Moist Critical got to a topic before me and I fought him because of that. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense at all. And what's even worse is that before every 20v1 that this man does, he promotes this scam where apparently you're supposed to get $750 cash app from clicking the link in the description. But you that shit be cat, bro. One of those sites where they have you fill out all of those tedious surveys and you get nothing from them. Right, bro. There's literally entire videos on YouTube exposing these scams. He gets the money because he gets paid from people clicking the link. But you as a viewer, you get nothing because, I mean, why would Cash App just give you $750? For no reason. Be broke if they just decide to do that. It right. shows how greedy of a YouTuber this man is. But I'm pretty sure that was already pretty evident. You also have this other YouTuber right here named Real X Sean. And I never heard of him. His videos are just 20v1s. I mean, nothing really else. But this man also, he spams that link in the description. Oh my and lord, bro. Dollar Cash App that you're never going to get. And then you got another 20v1 YouTuber right here named Ryan with the sauce. And he also spams that link in the description. Why do y'all be doing that? Like, bro, like y'all, y'all that thirsty for goddamn, goddamn money, bro. Like, y'all gonna make money off the vid regardless. Like, why you gotta put a fucking scam and fucking cash app thing in the fucking link, bro? I don't be understanding people, bro, but I guess it ain't for me to get. And what's also crazy about these 20v1 YouTubers is that there's literally no originality with any of them. The only difference is the people in the 20v1s. The intros are all the same. The editing is all the same. Hell, even the freaking personalities of all these YouTubers are all the same. Even right, the freaking scam in the video. They're all doing the same $750 cash app scam. Even the scam in the video. Family, I, I wanted to, I wanted to, like, not mention this in a video. Well, bro, you got a big ass forehead, here, bro. I wanted to. I'm sorry, bro. I had to. I had to say it, bro. Cause if I didn't, it was like it was gonna be like weird for me, like. Cause I'm sitting here looking at this nigga forehead, bro, and I'm like getting distracted a little bit. Cause his shit, his shit big as shit. I know my forehead big, but like, god damn, his shit. But let's get back to the video, exactly. bro. My bad, bro. These dudes are literally I ain't mean to roast you like that, fam. Like, they're just printed every single freaking week. Every week, I see a new up-and-coming 20v1 YouTuber. What's also crazy is that these dudes will have young people in their 20v1s, which is very sad. For you guys that don't know, there's yes. a rapper named La Tyler, and he's 17 years old. And the YouTuber No Love Mar, he made a video with La Tyler. He made a 20v1, and it's disgusting, if I'm being honest with you. How you feel about sex on a very night? I don't think it's bad. Like, if both of y'all vibing with each other. Oh, uh, y'all going to jail. Y'all saying this to a 17-year-old? Yeah, y'all uh, going to jail. That's fucked up, bro. Why y'all? Why you put him in there? No love, Mar, bro. You know the little nigga seventeen, bro. These all look like grown ass women, bro. Yeah, y'all going to jail. Let the police see this shit. Y'all ass going straight behind bars. Say no, nah, they probably won't even give a fuck. Honestly, we grown. We grown. Seventeen gross, boy was born in '06. <laughs> That's crazy. Asking a 17 year old if he's husband material, which that's completely wild to me. I mean, the man's not even college material. He's not even past high school. What do you mean, is he husband material? That's just odd. And you can't grow a senior in high school. school. Like, bro, grow up, bro. And if you sleep with a 17 year old, that is illegal. But what's even crazier is that there's 20v1s with Lil RT. And for y'all that don't know, Lil RT is a nine year old rapper. No, hell no. It's a 20 V1 with fucking Lil RT, the little nigga that be talking about Glocks and Dracos and Switches and all that kind of shit. Y'all doing 20 V1s with nine year olds? Y'all ain't got no shame. Oh my lord, this is crazy. He's not like the main character in these 20 V1s. He's like that little assist character that you have in freaking Mortal Kombat when you spam L1. I mean, <laughs> as you can see right here, there's literally a video called I Found Love from the Help of Lil RT. Why do you need a nine year old to help you find love? You also got the YouTuber King Sid, who's also been doing many videos with Lil RT. King he's not Sid. doing them in like the right way. He's just basically promoting this. Like, bro, like a toddler, bro. Imagine if you listening to his, if you listen to his music, he talk about lock switches and sliding on the ops but like he get a happy meal at mickey d's like so it's like crazy like i don't know bro <laughs> like how he's sitting in a chair like how do his ops take him serious they probably be like battling with like cap guns and shit like water guns and shit 
<laughs> bad behavior. I mean, he literally did a video named the little RT swipes 20 guys for his mom. And in the whole video, this man is literally just cursing and everything right in front of his mom, which is pretty crazy. If That's crazy. In front of my mom, I wouldn't be here making this video today. Right. To real with you. But yeah, I just find it odd how these guys literally have videos and the whole idea of the video is to sexualize a young person. I, I, I mean, that's just pretty crazy. Another style of content that's pretty big in the black community is face-to-face -face smasher passes, which these videos are also pretty unbearable to watch. If you don't know what this is, <laughs> it's basically a bunch of grown adults getting lined up and one by one, they basically go through these lines and say smash or pass to the person they're standing right in front of. It's pretty sad when you really think about it. Real shit, though, bro. For 30 minutes, I'm not gonna lie. I probably wouldn't even make it through. I would lose freaking all my brain cells by the time. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's another style of content with black YouTube that's pretty stupid in my opinion. I mean, imagine giving birth to a child just for them to participate in a face-to-face -face smasher pass. And like I said earlier, a lot of Sad. black YouTube, their content just revolves around just extremely horny content. Public interviews. I mean, you know the whole gay son or thought daughter thing. Find your match, which is just basically they get a room full of people and they just try to find their match. I hate the same Overall, shit, bro. Like My problem with black YouTube is that, number one, it's just unoriginal. Everybody's just copying off each other. Mm -hmm. Expecting to become the biggest black YouTuber of all time with zero originality, which is absolutely crazy. And number right. two, all these videos are just based around these sexual concepts for kids to click on them. And then once these kids click on them, they're just going to freaking promote these little scams and stuff like the $750 Cash App scam just so mm -hmm. they can get paid. Overall, black YouTube is just down atrocious right now. And it's honestly sad to see, bro. But yeah, this is going to wrap up the video. If you guys made this far, I appreciate you. If you guys enjoyed this video, then I highly recommend. I. What the fuck was that? If you enjoyed that video, bro, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell so you're notified I drop another banger, bro. I'm out of here, fam. I don't even want to say nothing. <laughs>